I can't tell if the stream has started or not. Okay, yeah, it says I'm on air. Hopefully it stays that way. Oh, Lord. Right, I forget. <laughs> it's weird. I'm used to... <laughs> I'm used to just being, being quiet for this stuff, but... <laughs> screw it. Whatever. Spider-Man, everybody! Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry about that. I was trying to... Uh, I had to go through save stuff. Usually when that happens, everything stops. Anyway... Maybe normal. Hmm. Let me see. Maybe? Hard to tell. Well, since I'm not, not on my own broadcast. Did you uh, allow party audio to be shared? Yeah, else you wouldn't be heard at all. Oh, there I am. Just... Okay, I guess I, I guess I just had to. I <laughs> I hadn't let my voice be shared. Oops. Weird. So that's, that's my bad. Also, don't mind the side side puzzle stuff. This is. Anyway, for people who for whoever is watching this, uh. First of all, why? I'm Marcus Shade. I'm. Draven's best friend. I'm here for my own reasons. Okay. And really, I'm just here because I was trying to stream and the fucking internet isn't working. So, kind of pissed off with that. And <coughs> I really need to rant about a few things. Yeah. So where do I? Oh right. So when I was waiting for Uber to wake up this morning, I watched a video by a guy called Arlo. Apparently, guess who isn't getting invested in the Switch? Go on. EA. Oh, not surprised. You know they are right. Electronic Arts. The monetization company. Fun stuff. They aren't. They aren't going to be. They aren't trying to get into the switch like every other company. Which is good, because you know what what EA does. Like we're 
We're all familiar about just assholes being assholes, but once they see a market thriving, they'll probably go for it. Yeah, but I really hope they don't because oof, Dr. Dre. How? How? Like, they have so many different game companies. Yeah. They've killed them, exploited them, hell, Bioware might be going out. Which is a because sad day. Which is a sad day for all. Yeah. And I think, like, the big issue with them is they only want the big bucks. Like, you get that? Yeah. Like, they aren't in this for making people happy and making all the money. Like, yeah, and I'm I'm happy I'm not going to the switch because <coughs> we don't need parasites like that <laughs> in probably the best game system that the, the, the game industry has ever seen. Game system with at least it's at least just trying their best. It's it's a wonderful game. Woohoo! Oh, that, oh, this, oh, so that's why you, you, you're having so much fun when I heard to play this. So, yeah, how do I explain this? I mean, have you ever played an EA game, Draven? A couple. A couple. But it's mostly been the good ones. Or at least the... He's the, I managed to stay good, hey good, despite the circumstance. I think one of them was Army of Two? No, I'm gonna with it. I don't watch or play EA stuff. If I... If I have to describe it, imagine... If I have to describe Army of Two, imagine... Imagine... Uh, you know what, it's a co- it's a co-op... It's a co-op shooter, shooter where you play as two, as two who soldiers, soldiers working together on the worst kinds of missions. Like, there, no, but no one really, no one really sees them in a good light because they just want money, 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 money. And although you should watch this video, by the way, if you actually decides to watch this, because Draven and I, I'm why are you watching our stuff? That's not into the Draven. We're just like we're like we're two guys who are using the bare minimum minimum software to stream, and I only stream mostly because one, it's kind of fun to do, and two, because I like to chat into the ether. I mean, I've only. I mean, I've only found some. I mean, I don't know how to edit, though. Though at this point, I do know someone that does know how to edit, and I'm. S I, I know the very basic editing stuff, but I don't like editing because I kind of like having like the bare experience and all. I'll like I like people seeing everything I'm doing. You know, people some people don't like, but. <laughs> Oh, like, EA, EA, EA. So, why'd you call? Did Dave the police move ball? We got a black and white to do. No ball, we're in the middle. We spent too much energy. Where do I start with them? Eh. I think, I think what's already there has been beaten by a dead horse. I mean, yeah, fair. I shouldn't try and be there. Like, the only uh, I've been there that was unrounded. I mean, the only, I mean, when I say, I mean, my phrasing of, phrasing of being, being beaten with a dead horse is they literally beat the dead horse with the dead horse. Yeah, but like, there's but, nothing, but there's all, saying EA sucks. <laughs> so, like, I'm glad that EA isn't going on Switch, because you know how I, how I, how much I like a Switch, even though I only have three games on it. Yeah. It's fun. It's really fun, and we don't need a, oh, man, more, I, more monetization. Like, I've, I've already given up a bunch of money to two, to two of the streams of their own. Oh, I and, just realized, they could have played Doom. 
I did the Switch game. I I I, I did it for me because. I Sure, but just so you know, I had to sync up with the tower to fix it. I'm seeing all crime data in which, the area. I guess it gets a good transition. So which which Switch game should I go into first, first, Raven? Don't bother. I'm on it. <sighs> For in advance, advance everyone, I am so sorry of what's about to come next. You are about to see me spend hours, hours on the side questing business. Okay, Draven, which switch game should I should I talk about first? Uh, start simple. So Pokemon. Sounds about right. The, the the game that most people have have made it a bad is kind of a bad game. Yeah, that's about right. I mean, I enjoyed playing Pokemon Sword because I Look, was playing it with you. It's an enjoyable game. It's just that it's kind of the same. Thing. It's fucking thing. That's why. Okay, so something I'm noticing, you're sounding a little bit staticky. And laggy. Garbled. Oh, I mean... But in retrospect, the reason why I like playing Pokemon Sword was because I was playing a lot of Side Draven. Shield. Because it's a fun game, because it's fun to play with others. But Pokemon Sword and Shield have issues. I mean, I, you know, we both enjoy new Pokemon, right? Yeah. Get away from her! And I will, and I love, I love my, I love Aquaman going on. It's always good to have, have some you love. As but, for... Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, no worries, just... No worries. I'm just trying to figure out why I am still lagging. Uh, it doesn't matter, I'm just gonna keep talking. Uh, you were saying something and then I drew off accident, sorry. Oh, no worries. Worries. If I have to give an If I have to give an honest reason to why everything's to why I Pokemon Sword and Shield was just It was just problems stacked on top of problems. Problems. I mean, what they're doing, it's not bad. It looks it looks good, it feels good, everything feels fine. But the national Pokedex thing Thing, just. Had any, uh, long time. Someone who didn't really care about catching Pokemon. I didn't. That doesn't really bug me. The pro. The problem was that a lot of stuff was missing. And and like there's there's the fact that it actually doesn't look too good. It it. The, I okay. mean we both we both always have like what where the hell that bear come where the hell that bear come from? Yeah. Like, this all can be, all the issues can be some of the one single word, Draven. Rush. Animation. I mean, didn't you notice, like, after the, after the, the third, the third gym, there's no little drop off in, like, uniqueness? Yeah. Like, the last three games were, were besides the gym, yeah, and that one was actually good. Good grief, you're still. Uh, worry about it. I'm trying not to, but I'm just worried it's gonna. Hurried. It must be. It must be because my my neck melt, and you know that I have a uh, sucking breath a lot issue. No, like, I mean, it's laggy, as in, and you I cut in and out. Shit. Mm. 
that's not gonna change. Fair enough. I wonder how many of these are scattered around the city. A lot. So. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I'm actually thinking what the fourth chip was. Still there? Got a robbery a few blocks away. Spider cops on it. Part man. I do remember because mine is dumb. Mm. Oh, right. Yeah, no, never mind. Um. Yeah, after the fifth chip, like the fifth, seventh, and eighth chip so were just. You battle. Bill? For the challenges, but you can tell that there was some actual good thought given to, to these games. It starts in the camps, but then they got rushed and they they couldn't give the game the treatment it deserved. Look, the best. Look, if we're talking, if we're talking the overall game, it's great. It's wonderful. It feels honestly nice, but. Everything else feels a little bit. Hey, fellas. Spider-Man, shoot him. Yeah. I mean, like, annoyingly, the 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 issues continued in the DLC. Oh, oh, Raven you had, had a hell of a time with the DLC. <laughs> That's just a, they having a grind that stupid that stupid air up to level up to level seventy five or fifty whatever the hell it was wasn't fun. Right, Especially oh, when tower, at least for me, I already had a fighting type. I had a beware. I already had a fighting type bear. This is a young man's game. Spider cop. Well, he's no spring chicken. I did need another one. I really hope the current drift has some fun from on in it. <sighs> the very least, it looks nice. I and I really hope it's much bigger. I really hope they aren't just like make it look bigger. It actually is bigger. Because if they just make it look bigger, I'm gonna be very, very annoyed. One can help. I mean, I mean, at least with the deal, we got two DLCs for DLCs, which I'll take it. And at the very least, I appreciate having, having. Having my, d I appreciate having my my doggo wolf back. Oh yeah, Draven had a nice. Look. That was extremely happy when he got when he got when he got uh, Ron back. Yeah. Sadly, I didn't get anything quite like that, but I did. I do have that for now, Venusaur, in my party, because sadly, one of my Pokemon in my team was kind of falling behind. I am so sorry, failings. You are an awesome Pokemon with an awesome design, and I really wish I could have used you, but Nightly Beware already had you beat. I don't know why, but I just never ended up using him that much. Should I head back to the lab for cleanup? No, no. I'm stepping out for dinner anyhow. We'll resume tomorrow. Short break, then back to creating the future. So, I, I, so it was fun, but yeah, I tried doing, tried doing playing Sword by myself. It is. It was boring. Yeah, I think from what I like playing it so much was because like, I got to play alongside the Draven. I think just my honest opinion about Sword and Shield is fun game, mired with a lot of iffy things here and there. I will say, they'll say the story, pretty good. I mean, yeah, look. It's. I mean, look. It's no black and white. Let's be honest. It'll never be a black and white. Don't never insinuate that. It, it, okay. It's the most boring thing because yeah, I was watching that video by Arlo, and you want to know what the issue with the story is? Go on. You just hear about all the shit that happens. You don't see it. And like, there's so much fucking talking that doesn't have to happen. I can kind of see why people don't like Hop now because, yeah, he didn't have much purpose other than to be a glorified tutorial tutorial man. I'm, st I'm still I'm still glad Marnie was there though. 
Yeah, like, look, I think, I, I think story, good. It at least tried. I, I take trying, trying over not trying at all. Because at least there was an attempt to make something, and hop turned out okay at the later points. Spider plushie. Oh, toy designer made this prototype to get me to license my likeness. Yeah, no the fuck, fuck post game. It's just, at least Hop tried, and I. The the battle with Hop was the best part. I re I never want to see those fucking, fucking weird hair, weird hair assholes. And I don't even know how you can walk around in that hairstyle, hairstyle without thinking you'll get laughed at. Because they're fucking idiots. Uh, they yes. literally tried to cause. They literally tried to tear apart the entire region because their because Sonya decided to show that the nation of the Maya were actually heroes and and work on one side humans. They were humans. Of course, the magical dog are gonna are gonna be important stuff. Not dark as day. They're magical sword and shield doggos. <laughs> what did you expect? Yeah. Like they're fucking legendaries. <laughs> I don't think stopping the darkest day and Granatus could be done by two piddly humans who are squishy and can die. When there's when a fucking rabbit can, sh can shoot fire from its mouth. How about turning a small pebble into a fireball? Okay, we also have James Vaughn, the Pokemon, and a and a, a monkey who can literally make the jungle kill you. Let's with, also, with his music. Let's also not even talk about that. Let's not even talk about the fact that. Heck, that said, a gorilla can smash you with said music. Although he's actually quite peaceful. Yes, he is. He doesn't like fighting. <laughs> and we have stuff like Metal Bird, Giant Sheep, liter liter literally sp Sparks, literally, literally Spartan from Pokemon. Formation! Hut, 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 hut. <laughs> like, they're magical creatures that can bend reality and fucking use the elements. Really dumb. We're getting better at this. I mean, I guess I played this game for hours. If I haven't gotten better at the. If I haven't gotten better at the web swinging, then. Raven, I literally, I literally remember you playing this game for three days straight. Okay, yeah, fair, you got me there. You have an issue with this game. Look, I have an issue with any open world game that gives me a ton of side quests to do. If I can do them, I'm going to do them. Nothing will stop me. Yeah. Okay, so which game... Which games do I have? Should we go into next? <laughs> Uh, let me think on that. Uh, might as well go into three houses. Woo! Which, before that, I, I want to mention something. Nintendo! The, the something that Arlo mentioned is that Nintendo just like releases these small games that, that have modest profits. But Nintendo is probably the biggest and most successful game company in the entire fucking world. Like, it's really hard not to see them as as the top dog in the game company world. But they're not assholes about it. They're just like, oh, you want? Oh, this small section of, of our fans want this want this one little weird niche game in, in this niche series. Okay, here, take it. And hey, maybe some more people like it. Yeah. The, We're not spending too much effort on it. People will enjoy it, so we'll, and we'll get what we expect from it. Yeah. Go ahead, have it. Like, they made fucking Tamo, Tamogachi life. 
Not everything works out, but then again, what does? Uh, they don't really mind if it doesn't work out because they know they're they know they're safe. They have the big, probably the most well-known icon in all in all of game world, fucking Mario. They have a lot of games. They don't have to worry, and like because of that, they don't have to worry about about not getting a lot of money. But they're not assholes about it. They're, they they will just toss out this random game that nobody make need Nick play because they can. It's really nice, actually. Sorry, ran over. No worries. So three houses. Where the fuck do we stop? Oh boy, that one. Honestly, what I love about it is that at first, people were honestly very iffy about it. I mean, yeah, it is, it is, it is something very perfect from what the series has been doing. It's oh no, 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 no! It's I mean, technically yes for the first part, but. Uh, in all honesty, what I love of is the bit of an is how people were a bit weird about it, because with the three houses you have to select from, and a bit of another thing, and that being honestly the school setting itself, people were worried about okay, wait, wait. it. Before we go in deeper, spoilers for three houses because we are idiots. We'll probably spoil something. Spoiler. 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 Spoilers abound, folks. We're sorry. But not really, because we'll forget about this immediately. Probably. Maybe. So, yeah, the school setting is... interesting. Okay, so I guess to give the... if a bit of what... It of since I usually keep an eye on the public opinion, any inside of things. Because I'm a something to ask or to do. I don't like. I have depression. I don't want to be. Get, mm -hmm. get, I don't want to be uh, in a hole where I get even more depressed. My reasoning for keeping. How, how work. The reason I keep an eye on public opinion is because I'm the general person. Person, I'm kind. Of, I'm pretty much the everyman in this mostly scenario, and I try to listen to most things that are being said. Go on. So, by the general opinion, what people were weird, what people were most weird out by, at least most, most, most regular Fire Emblem fans. What they were mainly worried about is... Is we've gone on from military tactics to an actual school setting, which is may which made some a uh, some original Fire Emblem fans make us think we went into straight up weird territory. Yeah, but Fire but, but old Fire Emblem fans have have been complaining since Awakening because of class mode. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean there are people who who, who absolutely despise newer games because. They're not the older games. Yeah, but to give at least some who don't... Don't get all... You know... Pressy. Yeah, they at least are a bit worried that... They were at least a bit worried that, oh lord, we're literally going for a high school sim now with tactical RPGs He's in the middle. I mean, yeah, I admit, when I, when I first saw the school setting with my mind, I was like, oh, please don't do that to Picasso with my hands egg, and please don't do that. I, that game had, had too many fucking issues. You know, surprisingly, in recent times, it's actually seemed to be pretty good. I... Okay, I don't know why, I'm sorry, but some of the stuff in that were, um... Bit too uh, fucking weird? Look, when you when you're when you're listening to the, do the Navar character, you know the okay, Felix is Navar character we have through Hans Raven. Yeah. When you're having a the Navar character song about cooking, you really question what the fuck you're doing. 
to be fair, the to be fair, what gets worse is the person that person that summoned him. Literally, the person that summoned him is a fucking weeaboo. No, I'm shit. talking about. I'm talking about about the guy that the, 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 the bar is tied to. He's very, very, very solemn, and he he is a Navarre character, oh but boy. he's talking about cooking with the small child in here. Please don't ask, I... Oh. Hmm. So, go on with your with what you were saying. But, yeah, just... Yeah, people were worried, worried about it, and when they actually showed the time skip, when they actually showed the time skip, people were invested, because not only was there, there a definite change, just, holy shit, was there a change. 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 It showed stuff that that makes, makes an actual, normal, classic Fire Emblem game. When I say normal classic Fire Emblem game, I mean in one, one that has some has some causalities of war, or and or and just war in general. General. Let's be frank here. Ain't here. When it came to Awakening, the war was there, but it was very basic. Uh, it, it, it doesn't make sense. Awakening was literally last chance. In total, they literally did everything they could as much as they could as They thought when it would be the end of Iron And, well, it, well uh, it worked out. They f they f they saved themselves from utter damnate. Oh. Oh dear. Uh, don't worry about that, friends. They'll be back soon. Ish. Pro tip. If you're not good at breaking or entering, maybe don't pull a B&E. They'll be back, folks. Don't worry. Just give them a sec. At least until I... At least while I just do my side questing stuff. Oh lord, I'm not good under pressure. I'm not good under pressure. deal with that now, folks.
I was in my first fight with Electro. It gave me the idea to add insulation to my costume. It just saved my bacon more than once. Hmm. I just love those little tidbits for these... tidbits for these backpacks. They're always nice to hear. Yeah, ba da ba dee ba 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 Welcome back. At least, hopefully, it will come back. Touch, touch. Oh, I'm back. I hear you through my headphones, but. I mean, it. I mean, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. Then we're good. <sighs> I can hear you, but the party screen just says, please wait a while. Where was I? Uh, three houses. I was talking about my end, just that's what I was thinking about it. Yeah, I mean, three houses is... It's the first game where we've actually seen the war in full since Tellius, and that's mostly because of one of the, one of the many new features of it. So which one do we? St where do we start with it? Uh, you know, don't know. Oh, although I think the best way, best way, actually, I think the best way to start is through the big choice. Which house do you end up leading? Golden Deer. I will always go with the Golden Deer if I if I can. Ah, uh, the Golden Deer. Well, I should probably explain and what you're getting into. I guess the best way to explain it is just working out with all three. So, three E-houses. There's the Black Eagles, the Blue Lions, and the Golden Deer. The Because most of the characters are... And not the series archetypes, but it's and it probably that was boring one of my opinion because just fight the bad guy, win. Huh? It's really only, and it's interesting when you meet me, the no the leader. He's in his oh kill every last one of them because he's completely insane. Or isn't because he's fucking PTSD. My own, my reason for liking the Blue Lions a lot is simply put, put, put the care. It's just the characters. Honestly, the fact that they're all, all dealing with their own problems but manage to come together and work with it, is nice. It makes me feel a little bit happy. I still don't like it much because I it never complete my big brother. Because it was boring to the other two. You didn't do anything. They fact you get any more. Kind of. That's wrong. Degree and closure. That's about it. You can. I understand the reasoning, reasoning behind it, and. And while I disagree, I can understand why you'd think it's not the best. But I guess just the fact I, that it was uh, my first experience. Played, uh, a, a lot of this period, and I mean, I mean quite a few of them. I it feels like it's not the older games. The only big difference in it is that Dimitri is well, kind of insane. Past that, it is kind of the thing they've been doing for a long while. And while I don't mind them doing what they know best, it can be a little dull compared to the other groups. Or three. 
that's fast. <sighs> I think the way I describe my bit, I think the way I just describe all routes is depending on what one you've experienced. Your first pick always ha has it to get to the it has se it has sentimental value and okay this is this is mostly just me talking about people's feelings on on certain routes but but I swear there is such a divide because I because yeah while well, the game shows favorable light depending on all the routes outs there there are people that played blue lions and golden deer and just thought Wow, Edelgard is a fucking hypocrite and a tyrant. I mean, my thoughts on it are... <laughs> honestly, I... I have issues with both Edelgard and Mitri because they're not well-adjusted people. Nah. The only one of the three lords that actually it can... actually has their, their shit together is Claude. Yes, he has issues... But there are issues that almost anyone would have for, 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 for someone like him. They're and trust he knows issues. how to fucking control his emotions. They're trust issues. He has trust issues. Issues, but he which knows in how, the left... He knows, how, he knows how, how to still connect with people. In yeah. his own trolley way. Yeah. Dimitri... Uh, we're going in first, obviously. So he already started it. Dimitri is... Painfully trying to find that mask of sand, when it's really not working. He's and going. I fully admit, I do love his time. His, his time to do design. That that coat is a that cape is amazing. But it's it's thematically perfect and just again it deserves again Dimitri Itri. I do consider they're one of the be one of the better characters characters for honest reasons. Out of all the characters, characters, he's just so. I guess layered is a proper word. You can see I mean, him I trying don't, I don't his best. Dis I don't dislike Dimitri. I don't have an issue with Dimitri or the Blue Lines themselves. I have an issue with with the story of their route. I like all of them. I love Ash. I. <laughs> Is, is, is adorable. I actually like Felix quite a lot. And Felix is an amazing character. Eric Felix is awesome. He... He's probably... Here's something funny. He's the only character with a major crest that doesn't have some sort of massive baggage fight. No. Because no, he gave no. up his all bag, that. His baggage is, is, how, is how much of an, how much of an idiot his, his father is. Honestly, how much of it... On, I think Felix is entire... I think Felix's whole story is just, or he is kind of. I think Felix's whole story is kind of how much, how much of an idiot the whole kingdom is, is. Because like out yeah, of all like, things, I'm, like I'm the fun. empire is, I... the empire is fucked, but it's fucked in a different way. The kingdom, that is completely fucked. The kingdom is fucked because they're blind. I'm sorry. But saying, Glenn, saying, saying to your your young son, who I believe is only half the time, that the, the brother I had, I had like a true knight, that's not how you make it make him feel better. That's how that's how to work it. the views of of something that that yeah. in my whole, that how you wreck a person's view of things, especially a young child. No Sorry. wonder feel like he hates really, because to his father, he got his brother he door killed. Go. No. Feel like the, feel like the door is his brother Ben. What? I'm fuck. Glenn. Glenn. It's Glenn. Yeah. Mm. Felix. 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 Uh, Glenn and Rodrigue. Those are. Uh, those are an interesting combination of names. Uh, they're watched. Fair. Uh, they're watched too. There you go. I think my... Fine, because... 
in one bitch. Folks, you heard. The express grain Ironic. Um, yeah, the blue lines are. I'm not gonna try and go to too many spoilers because that's too long, but. Yeah, it's. The route is a little, is a, is a little boring compared to the other two. I think. Seems to me. I think the reason I enjoyed it the most was because. As unlike you, this is my first time experiencing the characters in full. I. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I, I've actually done a couple looking, but yeah. Newbies like Blue Lion. People who who have played a lot of the series admit that it's just more of the same. It's, I mean, it's, it's good. But I, it's it's like it's like eating that peanut butter and jelly sandwich you've had for years. It's good, but it's a little boring. I mean, I. My re my reasoning reasoning of why I like the Blue Lions more is honestly I officially call. I've officially called it, called it through my own experiences, Awakening, but better. I mean, yeah, that's true. When I say Awakening, I, I don't mean, mean the time travel stuff, I just mostly mean the general plot. I mean, uh, yeah, no, that makes sense. Because it has everything. It has, hang, it has, it has the, t it has some time passing, passing, Passing. It has some has some consequences later on down the line. Ein, Ein, the main lord goes through some stuff. Have to make some change as a person. Person. It's all there. It's all pretty much there. There. Black. And it's kind of why I've also gone through, on through some other things. It's why I refer to Black Eagles as being conquest, but better. I mean, we'll go into a second. I suppose we should go into the blue lions as ca in, in, in the characters. Well, Dimitri, I you poor mm, poor boy. Yes, I admit he has issues, and I. Tragedy oh, Jessica is not a good thing. That's not something. That's something a child would see. But I do sometimes dislike him. There are times where I, where I'm. I if I am any blue lions that in their root I am definitely feel like a I'm in Yeah, it's Although he is a he is a, he is a very he has the highest strength growth growth cap and pace in the whole game. He is really strong and Dimitri. when his HP is at a time skip that person of his, when his HP is full, he gets a massive boost to void. It's, it's, it's insane. Also, battalion after battalion, man, holy shit, that's a good combo. Huh? It's a, map, if you think shit, lowering, if you think lowering his health is go going to do anything, you are surely mistaken. No, it's it's it's, 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 it's battalion is it, low, is it low health? Not him. Still, do you think that's going to stop him? Uh, then let's suppose go into feel like since we've gone into him so much. One of my favorite of the Blue Lions because I like his personality. And while he he is kind of stuck as sword unit, which is annoying because there's no sword units anymore. Yeah, I guess I guess in terms of some finally finally to the hit and stop using and stop building the sword units because I think we want to be. He's still a good character because I mean, Swordmaster is a good class. Ah, <sighs> Felix. Oh boy. He's got, he's got, he's got, he's, he's got his demons, but he's actually fairly well adjusted. Also, he's a male Sundere. <laughs> yeah. The best way you can, the best way you can figure this out is with if his and Lysithia supports. Seriously, she makes him love cake, and their ending is so sweet. I won't spoil it, but uh, when I saw it, it made my heart melt. He's literally... T and mind you, to give this a point, 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 Felix, in most every one of his supports that involve, that involve sweets, he utterly despises them. 
Um, yeah. Until Lysithia. It's, and it's not that like he's trying to he's trying to make a point. He just doesn't like sweet things. He actually cannot stomach sweet things. It's interesting because most people who say I don't like sweets, they're trying to make a point. No, he just doesn't like these sweets. It doesn't go against and his training regimen. It doesn't do anything. It's just he doesn't like them. Yeah, and the, part the of other me wants to is, assume it's like a condition thing or like a taste thing. It, it might also be because he does have some issues of, of, of autism or PTSD, so it may have affected his sense of taste. It might have. Possibly. PTSD can do a lot of things. I mean, the reason why Dimitri has no sense of taste, it's because of his PTSD. I have confirmed that. Yeah. I also assumed it was a bit... I also assumed he had problems with, like, the taste of blood in his mouth. No, uh, PTSD, one of the... If you... If somebody cannot taste... Has lost a sense of taste, that means they have heavy PTSD. They have major PTSD and depression. It's a natural symptom. That is... Also, I mean, come on. Felix has a lot of fun supports. He's actually quite nice to Bernadetta. He actually is okay with, with Annette. Like, there's a lot of good things about, about the kid. He's he just... Care he it, cares it, about everyone around him. Around him, he's just has dealt with so much that his tendency to be blunt is all he can do. Ew. Mainly because also he kind of also I'm um, it is depressing because most of the, a lot of his endings end with him dying. His solo ending is probably heart is heart wrenching. At the very least, his at the very least his life. His endings with anyone else, else usually have him have him living a longer lifespan. Yeah. Man. Um. So who should we go into next in the Blue Lions? I think we should go with the best bro, the ultimate dude, Dudu. Okay, Dudu, I have a big issue with. Go on. The man is a little too dedicated to Dimitri. I give you that. That's true, but you want to know what I love about him? The fact that he looks like a, he looks he looks terrifying, but he's actually really nice. Oh no, it's not just that. Matt, you want to know what I honestly actually love? Mm. I honestly love of that he is a simple character. Character. He's a. In terms of all of the other characters in Three Houses, he is a. He is basic, and he can be understood. He's not... And while... And while he still suffers through some... Um, problems? Problems? He's... He doesn't let his life be guided by them. He wants to do his best to fix things. I mean, yeah, and I, I do love how they how they're showing minority with him and, and the Dus and the Duskarians. But I do wish that his dedication to Dimitri wasn't so bad that he well, you've seen that chapter in in, in Crimson Flower. <laughs> I, I I think that's by far the creepiest shit I've ever seen in this fucking game. I, and the fact that like I had to find pulled like three times so that wouldn't happen, and the, and all of the guys who do do that are doing it for the same reasons to do because they because they have that much loyalty to Dimitri. It's a little scary. Also, he's like the only unit that could actually be an armor knight, but armor knights suck in player hands. In player hands, it's such it's such a disgrace. Also, apparently Sylvain is supposed to become a great knight, but that doesn't make any sense. Like, why would you do that to him? I don't know, his natural pathline is apparently other than great knight. I mean, okay, I can somewhat understand that, but... It just feels so wrong. Unclean. Yeah, so let's... Move on to Sylvain then. <laughs> okay, this this man, this Okay, this, I want to go, oh this Lord. brings up one of my issue one one single thing I have with a couple of units in three houses. I love his personality and his character, but I don't like using him. I'm sorry, but whenever I've tried to use Sylvain, he's always he's always failed me. 
it comes and down he, to whenever this I try is... to make a mage, he, he gets destroyed. Whenever I try to make him a, a fucking cavalier, he gets magic. I can't win with the, with the boy. I for, like whenever I try and use him, he just fails, which is annoying because he's his character is very realistic. He's fucking tired of people seeing him only for that damn breast. It comes as a problem because again, and the worst part is is that it really is just the kingdom that's suffering this problem the biggest. Now, yes, every other place is suffering it, but the kingdom? The kingdom lives and dies by it. Yeah, here, here's the thing. Literally, a guy... The, the, this is not much... This is not too big spoilers because it's the fifth chapter of the game. A guy steals a hero's relic, who is Sylvain's brother, who, who was abusive to Sylvain and tried to drown him twice, and then also tried to, to leave him to die in the well because he didn't have a crest, and so they did. And then, because he takes take the relic and lets the ruin, he turns into a fucking monster. Literally. Yeah. And, and because of that, and because 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 so many things when only in his crest, so Bane is a womanizer and starts because he doesn't know how to how else to deal with it with his anger. That's the only real way he knows how to deal with, with his anger and hatred. It's really depressing. depressing, and while I've had better luck with him, and my reasoning for not using him in more recent playthroughs has just been, I have so many people that are better. Yeah, he, he, he suffers from the... He's good from anything, but he's specialized, and he can fail with mathematics. Also, it's notable that he's a womanizer, but he only has five F supports. No, I'm sorry. He only has five A supports. I'm sorry. He has five A supports. The only one of the blue lion to violet is the uh, the, uh, the other flirt. Going to Oh boy. Sylvain, buddy, I really wish you were better because I really like the character. Sylvain has some Sylvain has some issues, but that's mainly fire and bloom growth problems. They either turn yeah. out great or they're bad. They're they're and only there are only very few units that turn out genuinely amazing. good. Let's go, and that's a good leeway into the last of, of the four childhood friends and a character that you have had so many issues with. Ah, yes. Ingrid. Ingrid. I'd like to go into her first because... Go ahead. Because I'm going to let you I'm going to be frank. Because I, my thoughts on Ingrid are the opposite of Sylvain. <laughs> I'm going to be frank with you. I have the longest thoughts, so that's why I wanted to go first. And that's just... Ingrid as a character makes me both love her and feel so uncomfortable around her. Her ideals of a knight, her ideals of being a knight, I is really there. And the worst part is, is that, at, she has the same feelings on Glenn's death as Rodrigue, but, uh, you can tell she's, l she, l even she has problems with it. They're supposed to be married to Glenn anyway, after all. Yeah. Oh. And the worst part is, they both loved each other. Genuinely did. They were the they were a perfect match. It, like even Felix like even Felix knows that they were perfect for each other. But tragedy struck. And oh by the way, that tragedy just another thing to think to think oh just let's live in the dark for. Because yeah, they were behind that. <laughs> I think now, while some would consider that a problem, it's also the fact that while it was both those who slither, it was also others involved in said tragedy. Corrupt, corrupt kingdom nobles. Yep. Yep. Which led on a downward spiral that led several directions. So what? So what's your other big gripe with England? Let's get the kid over with. Giving up a band aid. <sighs> Ingrid as Ingrid as a unit is terrible. Okay. For you. 
No, 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 no. Genuinely, like, I've confirmed this with others. She has horrible, horrible stat growths. I, I do mean horrible. Like, it's confirmed. They're all bad. Mm. They have this... There is at least a general idea that at some point, a point, a point, if she ever falls off, she falls off permanently. There is no coming back. My Blue sure. Lions playthrough had her with a fully useful, useful Lewin, and it's it didn't work. May I speak about her, or are you still ranting? <sighs> Okay, I think so I'm good. my issues with Ingrid are her character. She's a fucking control freak. I don't like how she acts with some people. Best shown with how she fucking breaks down Brenda's door. She she is not helping Bren, Bernie. Ingrid is a control freak, and as someone whose mother is a control freak, I don't like control freaks. I really hate those people. So Ingrid as a character is someone I do sometimes want to strangle. I mean, I mean, if I have to give if the re reason for that, while she does seem like a control freak at times, I more or assume maybe she takes a more assertive approach. I love her uh, character. Oh, like control it's, freak. I just uh, and in terms of her gameplay, I'm the opposite with how Draven reacted because my thoughts of Ingrid are. I mean, I will admit, if she doesn't, if she doesn't do, if she falls, but if she falls off, she falls off. But the thing I have grid is, I like using her when I do use her, because she is the epitome of what, of what happens with, with peg knights. She's like the only peg knight, the only one who has to be, be an actual peg knight. And the the thing about Ingrid is, she, she emphasizes the issues that. Every single pick knight over this tier is used, and as someone who has played a lot of games and has used a lot of pick knights, hate me. I can fully, fully say this with with, with veteran confidence. Ingrid is the standard pick knight. She's fast, she's dodgy, and she has and she can be useful, but she has weak defenses. She has middling strength, and like a lot of pick knights, if she doesn't do well. The start, she will. You will have to venture because her squeakiness will kill her. I don't mind Ingrid as a character because when I have used her, she's been good. But I admit, I some people don't like her. But that's because, as someone who's <sighs> been far, far worse Pegasus Knights, she's good for a Pegasus Knight. But yeah, I've dealt with some truly. Truly crap X knights. Gonna use Ooh, Subaki. Boy. No, not no. He he's worth one, but there's also S who comes far too late in. There's a reason why the S archetype is a thing. There's other peg knights like well, uh, Azura's uh, son. <laughs> at least boy. he at least he can always turn out good. No, but... I've never had him turn out good. <laughs> Look, at least there's a chance with his dad, depending on which one you choose. Mm, it was, like, but it could be... Like, I, I get you. It could be better. It could be worse. But And, just, like, I, I, I've dealt with uh, Claire, who's... This. I've dealt with um, with FE7 Pegasus Knight, and I'm sorry, but Florina is the only Pegasus Knight I will ever... She is an adorable bundle of joy. Also, because her stat growth, she comes in early, but sometimes her stat growth can, be, can, can work. I had a bad, bad for you. But past that, even Tana, who I do like her personality, is. Um, she has issues. It's not that she comes in a bit, she comes in like halfway of the fucking game and is still fucking squishy. Yep. Now, who do we talk about next? Well, there's not really many. Well, there's not really many. Honestly, there. Honestly, we've kind of gotten most of the controversial ones out of the way. Uh, okay, I mean, I guess there's Mercedes, but. What no, going to her first. 
I don't think there's really anything controversial about her. She's just just an angel. Mercedes, okay. Personality, she's a mother. She's probably the most well equipped of all the line. And that's well, yes, despite she, all of her tragedy she went through. Yeah, she lost family. She nearly got raped by her by her by her stepfather, and she lost her brother. But she's remarkably well adjusted, and she is without a doubt the best killer in the game. <laughs> she comes with psychic. She can recover. She has fortify. And her, her personal ability makes it so that whenever, that whatever, that whatever she heals, she also gets his healing. Also, she's a she's a damn good memory. And I and did marry her in my Blue Lions playthrough for good reason. Yeah, she's a good character. She's solid, and I love her interacting with everybody because she's a mother. You can't go on using Mercedes. She's... She's... I'm, my honest opinion on Mercedes is I love her so much, much, and she's the sweetest, but I've started to, like, not use her a lot in my recent playthroughs, and I'm unsure no, why. I can't think why. Go on. Marianne. Okay, yeah, you've got a point there, but even then, I'm not using Marianne in this playthrough, mainly because I've already got most of, most of my, I've already got, like, Scythia, Yuri, Yuri, and really just everyone else with a healing spell. Hell, with no worries on that. And it's just kind of sad. Yeah, I'm still not ready to make another play because he doesn't have Horrified. Hello! <sighs> My honest. Marianne or her harder runs because. Uh, Fortify is kind of required for some of that shit. <laughs> Drugs are maybe my most disliked criminal activity. Definitely top five. Or bottom five. However, that's it. Yeah. Sorry about that, folks. Folks, uh... Technical difficulties. <laughs> Meme land here. Man, I wish I was good at, at on-the-spot memes. I could just blurt out some well-known, loved meme. Meme suddenly and out of nowhere, and everyone would just laugh. Like that. Boom. Laugh. But no, here I am, being the fucking clown of the hour. I'm back. <laughs> that shit. Anyway, he he didn't. He, 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 <laughs> I heard all of it. Son of a. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, who? So who's next? Anna, Annette, the epitome of why can't you be a dark mage? Uh, Annette, okay. Annette, I haven't used that much, and there's one big issue why I haven't used that much. Lysithia? And Dorothea. And, yeah. Well, and healers, and... And no Hoppy and Constance. Annette is... Um, she can do one big hit, and that's about it. Okay, I'll... Okay, just... I'll be frank here by saying my thoughts on Annette as a u as a unit and as a character. As a character, dear lord, Evne dear lord, she's trying her best so hard, and honestly, a character uh, it's, that it's I saddening 
but I can't annoyingly when I think about that the first thing that comes to mind is that image of her which one girl uh, eats too uh, much cake oh uh, right she's Wh annoying because I don't know why my brain does that it's really really dumb <laughs> it's look it's what we call it's what we call we call all it's what we call loot on the brain. It just kind of hits ya. I'm what? not even that fucking loot! No, I thought you were talking about that one image, image that you saw earlier. No, that's what I'm talking about. I'm just like, why does that pop in my head? Because... I'm confused by it. I don't know, I just see... I don't know, it just kind of happens. Yeah. Anyway, your thoughts? As a character, I think she's good. Good, good. Mind you, I, and you, and you. Out of all the characters in the Blue Lions, I think she could be, could be better. I think there could be just better, better, but Annette is still solid. She's good, and just, she feels sweet. Heat. And sweet is good. Just, sweet is good. Sweet is just good. I don't know how to put Annette in, like, simple words. It's just, she's good. That's all I can say, but as for unit, honestly, I never had much problems with her. She's a solid unit to have around, made me happy when she and she was, uh, but, you know, as of recently, I've experienced what I love to call the, all the, oh no, oh no, Lyth Lysithia snowballing again. I, me. Like, I have zero problems with Lysithia snowballing, but the fact that she's literally better every other magic unit in it is unfucking believable. The only one that can top her, up her, up her, up her is Hubert, and that's only because only because he learns the same magic as she does. He does, and a lot more quickly. It's also because she became so light. Because let's blame her when we get to her, okay? Yeah. So Ash, 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 Ash. My, I have a odd history with Ash. For starters, I love his personality. I admit some of his personality is how I was when I was younger. He's such. A, he is such a good boy. A sweet boy. But the issue with me, the our relationship is, sometimes I lose him, sometimes I don't. Generally, if I need an archer, I will use him, but the problem is, I also either automatically get Leone, Claude, Ignatz, or I have Bernie. And Bernie, and Bernie, 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 Bernie. She's the ultimate the archer. One time I did, the one time I did use Ash, he turned out, he turned out fucking amazing. Like, if you, I've, I found this out with Ash, but when you use him, you make him work. There is no, there is no backpedaling. He will always work for you. Work for you. He's but you solid. Have to make sure, but you have, you have to make sure you keep, you keep up with upkeep. Yeah, he's a, he's an upkeeps. He's an upkeep unit. You want to, you want to, you really do have to raise him up to be the bestest boy, boy, which is what I did since I am fairly certain that I, certain that he, that I may have let my entire parental, mental complex kick in and really just spoiled the boy. Though this is an, uh, and this is a good way, like, way into one of the more interesting changes they did to three the three houses. The class exams and rank training. 
Okay, the weapon ranks and such. That's in older in older games that wasn't really a uh, that was kind of like a oh that's nice it got stronger I can do stronger stuff. But in this game it's it's um well uh required mandatory if you don't have this you are fucked. Yep. Now while it's that is it's not so bad in context it's at least has it's at least serviceable and it's fine. It honestly gives a new challenge so people don't won't just immediately pre-promote into Swordmaster. Because seriously, but, I can hear that shit from miles. I can just hear Swordmaster, Royal Guard. Shit, uh, my God. my issue with the the system is if you're on if you don't like your or new game plus. You can kind of just run down your victory. Yeah. Also, I'm sorry, but while I was fighting it the first time, the third time it's a little thing. Doing, giving, giving training. Not that I won't do it, but I, it's a little, it's a little boring. Yeah. It sucks, but it's a thing. Also, it's really to make anyone want whatever. Because the higher ranks can be in I think the best way to put it is is you're gonna need to is that the time and effort you put into yourself is the time and effort you're oh crap. Uh give me a sec, I need to go check something. The ranks has issues. It's okay. It's fun, but something becomes stable. Especially when you when you have kind of like, oh crap, you need a little part and like say you're me and you max out all the statues, and suddenly your unit is in what? They get the music class. Looking at you, ball test. And um, if we're cutting out the, D the DLC. Ooh. Really don't like this going from a series and post and post. Or back to the, yeah, everything in between. Playthrough was little. I had people stuck in the ear because it was like, and because I couldn't have the fucking um. Oh, so much needed, Dave. Okay, I'm back a bit. Okay. Um, I may need to let my doggos out, so I'll probably need to BRB again. Okay. So I'm getting my socks on now. You're free to continue talking if you need to while I'm gone. I am. <laughs> Go for it. Enjoy yourself. Elf. Have fun, audience. Ow. Uh, like. <laughs> so many issues. I mean, like, well, that's not even going to interrupt the I, like I said, some of the exams can be a little. Also, with that, the season can just fall from grace. Mike said a great plan. It was a niche. Okay, class. Frederick. And now it's useless. Nobody should ever be a big. And the Armor Knights. Everyone loved Armor Knights. Knights and Generals were all worth staple in various for so goddamn. 
they were amazing. But now in this game, they're crap. There's only one unit who should really be armed. That's to do. Oh, two can be hit. And our half. Uh, um, that? Not really. Um, no, really, just really, just to do maybe a garden raft, but then you have a slow unit and a unit who literally can't catch up because they're moving slower. There's an issue with older games because you weren't supposed to rush. And after March, that's fucking my arm. I'm sorry, but in the middle of a map, I'm tired of that. Really. Bit, er, black. One of those water maps is fucked. I'm not used to water maps, but some of them, but at least the thing at me there were no cold. <sighs> I miss choke points. I miss choke points. Trying to think of any, trying to think of me if there were any choke point levels in the houses. I suppose for the reaper. Was a reaper for some bots. So. Um, Battle of Eric Mark had a few. Yeah, no, I can't think of any. There are a lot more app which remind me of Jim Beckos. I can't say that. <laughs> <It is. laughs> oh, wow, yeah, I really, yeah, I really electronic y and the fuck you, internet. Those will return soon. Oh.
Well, I'm back. He's not. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I'll just watch the thing in the background. I'm back. Welcome back. What I miss? Me trying and failing to get the audience and then going to grab snacks. I see. So what are you talking about next? Well, who do? Well, what were you talking about while I was gone? Complaining about how there's like no choke points anymore. Oh, I see. <laughs> I told you it was me doing to the audience. <laughs> yeah. So, Black Eagle's next? Yeah. So how yeah. do we start this, start this off with, with something interesting? You can actually play the bad guys in this route. There is, there is no, there is always just something. It, yeah, it's it's just conquest, but done better. I mean, just being frank here, look at most of the Black Eagles. Their entire pers, a lot of their personalities can be attributed to villain quirks of the villain quirks of the Fire Emblem series. I mean, you've got yeah. Edelgard. Edelgard, who is a fierce emperor. Emperor, and she's got herself... And she's got herself some fierce determination, some will, like most of the Conquerors in the series. Here he is. Hubert, this evil, maniacal fucking dude who literally... Literally laughs... Aps and has so much fun laughing evilly. Uh-huh. While, wow. oh fucking! While well, then we have, have just all of them have this like villainy trope to them. I mean, Dorothea, while being the nicer one, un has this trait of <sniffs> hate of charming seductor actress that's probably gonna fucking kill you. 
And that's not even really wrong. Yeah. So how about we start with, start with um, and, well, okay. Laggy, I think, is probably the most interesting one in terms of uniqueness, is because you're playing the bad guys. Yeah. That's one of the shortest routes. It is a shortest route. Yeah. It's four hundred shorter. They could have had us fight the Agarthians, but no. That would have been really nice. But never mind. Yeah. Either way. Hmm. It was fun being the bad guy, to be honest. It was, especially with how. Especially because I don't actually I don't like Ray that much, so being you know, able to give her the middle finger was, was really fun. Oh boy. Yeah, spoilers. Eldegard, Eldegard is, is the bad guy. Have you been living? Have you, have you been living under a rock? Every single trailer has shown that. <laughs> anyway. It's honestly fun. It's fun being the bad guy, to be honest. And hey, we get to see a not driven by conquering everything, Eldegard. <laughs> yeah. She's actually stable in this room. Yeah, that kind of becomes a thing in all thing in all routes besides Golden Deer. Here, where you really do just make the make the person you're working with more of a stable human being. This also counts for, counts for, uh, I honestly forgot what the church route was called. Silver Snow! Okay. Verdant wind, but worse. The only reason you're dealing with that, the only reason you're going down that path is either you fucked up, fucked up trying to get to the, is either you fucked up trying to get to, I need to get the at the actual Black Eagles route, or you. As my brain dies, or or you really just wanted to, wanted to. You really just wanted to marry Rhea. Let's be f let's be frank here. Which it's called the secret for a goddamn reason. It's not even a secret route. You literally can just get there by fucking up. Ah, for just wanting no, to get. No, I mean when the when the game was released, it was a it, w it was a secret route. That is fair. It's just so weird, and honestly, honestly, I do like it in the fact that you get more time with Seteth and Flane, and yeah. which is always good because I feel like those two are like underrated characters, in my honest opinion. They are underrated characters. I mean, Seteth isn't because Seteth is a meme. This man is this man is the best dad, but he's also but he is also so out of touch. It's great. Anyway. I'm like I'd honestly debate going down the marriage route with him and uh, marriage route with him in Silver Snow if I wasn't going down the Raya route. Or you are. Anyway. What do you what do you expect from me? I see I see caring dragon mom and what do you expect of me? I also, am a like a also it's like a dragon lady. Can you blame her after what happened? No, but I rather wish she wouldn't say I'm gonna I'm gonna tear up your heart. Okay, that is very true. I'll give you that. Also stop fucking hiding secrets and literally hunting Odin's growth. Yeah, that, I think that I understand, and I, I'm still honestly weirded out by that, because, like, okay, yeah, definitely evil, but what the fuck are you gonna- what the fuck is a spyglass going to do? 
allow for easier sniping. Apparently, according to the Shadow Library. I just don't even know anymore, because it's just like... I feel like that entire thing just fucking disturbs me. Anyway. Since we've gone over that, and we have gone over the, the Green Flower route, kind of, let's go into, into the Black Eagles' characters. Starting with, of course, Edelgard. Edelgard, Edelgard, Edelgard. 80, 80, 80. The same issue as Dimitri. If you don't go with her, she is horribly messed up. Like, you're just gonna see a lot. Girl is perfect on and probably destroy a lot of morality. <laughs> just... Look, her entire... Look, I give... Look, her morality is... Gray and fucking... Hey, and honestly, just... I do agree with her idea, with her idea of destroying the crest stem, and like you know, <laughs> how Tuchzeroth has so much control over Odin. Really well adjusted. Her, like I get it. Sometimes you have to do morally questionable things, but things. But this is something brought up by Dimitri. Dimitri, he fully admits it's, and he he fully admits that the crest system is horrible. Horrible. And he wants to try to find a way to fix it so that nobles and commoners can live if peacefully. Peacefully. Obviously, what I love about does. In, 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 apparently, according to the epilogue, he does. But it takes time. <laughs> Edelgard is trying, is trying to... to Edelgard wants the fastest and quickest way to do so. Do so. And... She's trying to... to quick start something that it really can't be sped up the only the only way she was able to do it in such a fast way was because she literally literally conquered the entirety of Fodland Fodland in one fell swoop Dimitri did it in a peaceful way which in the end he's got a point of doing it in the peaceful way which is while yes the crest system a system is horrible the nobil there are good nobility and sometimes the nobility needs to rule in order for things to be stable. Yeah. M M M Aristocracy is good, but it can be very dangerous. Extremely dangerous. Yeah. There are two soft sides of the coin. And, and uh, then we have to mention her personality. Elgard is a very very serious woman to a fault. Yeah. But she's also oddly cute. She has moments of cuteness and just and just hilarity. I think her I think her support conversations with patients with Ferdinand kind of show her more non-serious side the best because that line I mean she does where she's just like us like ooh and then we'll fight and then we'll do battle like our ancestors. <laughs> it's the best that she puts on that voice, too, no less. As off to the fact that, I'm sorry, she freaks out and tries to and tries to forcefully put, push Violet out of her room. And when she finds out that, oh no, teacher saw that I have that, that painting I did, I did then. Wait, that's actually a thing? <laughs> yes, that's a race support! Oh. I... <laughs> I did that. That's literally her A support. I may have missed that, <laughs> missed that, and I'm honestly kind of laughing about that. <laughs> Holy shit! She freaks out. Her voice like has like two octaves, and she's and she's she's blushing and she's blushing crazily. She's she's panicking. Oh, I. I one of the few times where she loses her composure. Anyway, Elgard is a good kid, but she, ooh boy, 
There are some things that aren't so good. Like, mm -hmm. okay. Hey, like, what I said, Edelgard was... Edelgard, when you're on the blue lines route, is... Well... Just... Oh, boy. It's just Edelgard. You're either gonna see her as a... As a hit? You're either gonna see her as a hypocrite... Hypocrite, or an immoral tyrant that's just doing all this, all this stuff just because of an unfairness she was dealt. Oh, I mean, also in fairness, she has an incomplete truth. Yeah. The Vert Wind reveals all the information. When I went from Vert and Wind to Wind and Flower, oh my God, there were so many gaps and issues in what she knows for yeah. the truth. It would explain why her idea is a little, uh, flawed. Honestly, my entire- honestly, my entire reasoning- reasoning is just- reasoning is just- fucking hell, Rhea- like, Rhea's oddest reasoning- like, okay, this is where we need to get into spoiler territory, and I'm just gonna say it myself. Elf. Elf. So just bear with me here. Here. It'll go. The reasoning Ray is like the way she is is because of what happened to her family. Family and her friends. They were all brutally fucking murdered and turned into weapons. Their bones the were. Hero the heroes run for the ten heroes. Yeah, the ten heroes were on Nemesis' side. Yeah. And they were the bad guys. Yeah, and that's not all, and folks. And it's notable that, that if you think about it for a second, in the opening, all those Light of the Heroes relics, they're on the side of Nemesis' army, not Theros's. By you the way, is Rhea. You don't take note. You don't take notice of this, but notice of this. But what comes is the worst part. Art is well, El. By the end, what Rhea's plan is. She's... Well... How do I put this? She, her whole plan... Old plan... And when it comes to all that she's doing is... Making sure that humanity and it can, le can live in peace... Peace... And not fall into some kind of darkness or another war... Or another centrous tragedy... So she, oh, she implemented the Crest system, system as a way to keep certain people in power that she could at least keep an eye on. Eye on. She's a mathematical freak who wants her mother back. And oh yeah, and right, that part of the plan. Hunted from because she doesn't want to forget about her. It's not that people would forget about her easily. I mean, she's the holy, holy archbishop. Bishop that's had this much no, power. No, Sothis, right. But I doubt yeah, anyone could forget the she, major she religion. She doesn't want people to forget Sothis, and when you look at most religion in our world, she has their... She's correct in, in doing that, because when people find new things, they stop caring about their religion and, and gods. Yeah. It, ta it takes some certain belief and belief in things. for like a thousand years at this point. Yeah, and while that's bad, you can at least understand why she does this. It's depressing to say the least because, as I don't think anyone can, I don't think anyone's sanity can survive their mother getting turned into a sword, horde, and having to see be the bastard that killed your entire family. Emily be you using said, said bone. Yeah. Ah. Now, yeah, now does that does okay, that also, justify most of her things that she's done? No. No. But, it's also notable the whole reason that didn't happen was because of the Agarthians who were pissed off the the, the Navathians, which is uh are who by the way at the end goal. Um kind of the whole reason they're 
It's but just... It's done the wrong way. Their entire... The whole thing... The whole thing about the Agarthians is a whole mess load of things that I don't want to get into, but... It's, I mean, it, it's notable. Nemesis was just a plain old thief. He, he was, was no great hero he was, or great, great conqueror. He was just a thief who stole the door. I've called, I've referred to him as one. It's kind of funny in context that despite Rhea... A, the, despite Rhea knowing him as the person that person that killed her family and used her used her own mother's bones as a sword, she still ill saw that Nemesis was manipulated, manipulated and wanted to see and wanted him viewed as at least a hero that eventually fell into darkness. And as Truman puts it, he's the king of hobos. He really is like the man, like. Like, that man... That man had his own Fire Emblem game, and that's not even... F <laughs> that's, like, not even a joke. The man literally had his own Fire Emblem game. That, like, that's basically his backstory, but... Here's, here's something notable. Here's what we were saying. All of the bad shit... Because of those who slither in the dark. Or as I'm calling them because it's a mouthful, the Agarthians. That is what they actually are. Yeah. Just... It, it's a weird thing, and just... Again, a lot of things that happened to Rhea, while it doesn't justify what she's done, I can still feel bad for her because holy shit! Hit. I can't. I'm sorry. I just don't like her that much. Maybe it's my. Maybe it's just my empathetic side kicking in. Just because, like, while I can't excuse a tragedy, eh, well, I can't. Well, I can't excuse her for the shit she's done. I at least, east can. T I at least as can tell her that she can like, atone. As someone, as someone who, like I mentioned, hates control freaks, and someone who who doesn't like. Look, things being stagnated that much, and just doesn't like people like a lot. Most people I know is a lot of race personality is rubs me the wrong way, and that means I don't like her that much. Yeah. Also, I don't like how she is how she essentially is trying to kill off Byleth because to make her mother be reborn. Yes, so this is the goddess and Rhea's mother. Yeah, and also Rhea is your grandmother, but also daughter, and I I still haven't figured that out because like none of well, Rhea's your grandmother because your because your mother is Machiavelli made with Rhea's blood. Okay, wait, that's confirmed, or is that just yes! speculation? It's confirmed. I... Century literally like the. Machiavelli that that Rhea, Rhea made using her blood. Because it because it because it reveals that Citri's ears were pointed. Huh. Just like the the Bathians. Spider signal. No, if Citri's remember his name, you find out what her name is in Cinder in Shadows, which I recently bought along with Raven. Like maybe a week ago. Agonizing experiences are fun. We'll get to that later. And anyway, well, okay, so let, let's fucking get Black Eagles and Elgard as a unit. Well, she's broken. Look, that look, we've kind. I think we can discuss that all of the lords are broken. Oaken, well, Claude isn't. I guess is one of the more balanced ones. But he's still powerful. Like all of the Lord units are powerful and will and never fail you can ever. Get Fifty damage with a fucking iron axe on an armor knight. Yeah. Although yeah. that's although the problem is if she hits them. Yeah, Edelgard's main issue is hitting, but that can be solved that's by a lot of things. Like an accuracy ring. Yeah. Or you know the Chalice of Beginnings. No, she can still miss. And the Chalice of Beginnings is is the piece of the option. 
the Thomas doesn't Oh boy. Lag's kicking in hard. Anyway, let's go into Hubert. <laughs> The eagle guy of the uh, okay, you might want to stop talking because again, you're getting more and more progressively laggy with each sentence. Oh my god, died. Okay, there we go. So that fixed itself. Anyway. Also, you, you're a bit saggy too. I just haven't said anything about it. Shouldn't be too bad. I think. Not too bad, but sometimes I can't I can't quite understand you. Well it Well it, it's my it, it's my internet. It's it's just my it's my internet. You yeah. know it's horrible. Yeah. And yours isn't much better to be honest. Mine's at least progressively been trying to get better. Not really, but yeah. Anyway, uh Hubert as a unit He's the Dark Mage. This man this man's the best, but, best one. Yeah, all those skills the enemy Darkman have been using, yeah, those are what Hubert uses. I don't know what else to say. Like, everything that, that the enemy uses is what Hubert uses. Yeah, and he really loves using them. Using them. Banshee, Swarm, Death, like it's, like the only thing that's missing is more. He's missing a lot. Like, that's all you need to know about the man. He's he's evil, he's but he's evil, evil. He sounds evil. There's really nothing, nothing else that could be said. But well, he's yeah. He's just evil, evil. He's bad. He's but he's not a bad person. He's just he just kind he's just in the situation he was raised in and had to deal with. He prefers to be evil. <laughs> Sometimes the more nefarious, various choices are the ones that need to be made. Yep. And anyway, let's move on. Also, also in terms of voice acting, Robbie Damon as Hubert is I'm so perfect. I'm gonna go into voice acting once we get to Claude for good reason. Woohoo! Anyway, who would we talk about next? Well, well, let's just let's just go with simple stuff. Uh, so probably Caspar and Lintart should be next. Caspar is the is the battle guy. He Do doesn't you? have much to him. He's just like that guy in school who's short but tr but is tr but is really strong. He's that. He, full, he fully admits he's not that smart. I mean, literally one of his win quotes is... One of his win quotes is... Win quotes is... Might makes right. Wait, right? Right? He's, 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 re he's really unsure about himself on that, but he at least tries to stay he, adamant about it. Yeah, and then Lindhart is actually a bit more detailed, but... He, he's still simple to explain. He he, he he he's basically someone with, with high with high functioning autism. He's he's vaguely interested. He's lazy. In he likes sleeping, and the only thing that interests him are and the only thing where he actually does something is eat it, like crest research, where he picks to eat and sleep. Yeah. He's done. But Landhart is ultimately a very simple guy. He likes doing what he likes doing, and not much else. He's a very. He's a very... Also, he is, in my opinion, the worst of the three healers, because he lacks Fortify. The, it's his own problems, but he does at least does at least make up for it in having some of the most hilarious lines in the Black Eagles. I mean, yeah. So, I would... I, personally, I'm using him right now, and I still just prefer Marianne Arthas. Yeah. It's also kind of annoying because he doesn't really have any options than the, the, the bridge line. 
he really doesn't, doesn't, and the only thing you can do to help make him a bit more solid is just us giving him more, what's the proper word, just, you're essentially just forced to send him down the reason, he's in line, just to make him have so, a bit more. Which actually is fitting more reason, because he hates the sight of blood, he doesn't like fighting. Blood makes him sick. Yeah, he, he doesn't want to fight. Even his AI, it's notable that his AI, if an enemy, if if you want your eye, if one of your units is in range, he won't attack them unless no one is killing. The only time where he will actually attack you is if no one, is if not, if there's no enemies at all who need healing. Only then will he attack you. He has AI priority. Yeah, and that's not fighting, because that's yeah. who he is. So, who's next? Well, let's see. What? Let's see, who would be left that would be somewhat easy to talk about? Uh, there is no one, is no there? One. Uh. No, there isn't. All right. Well, let's just get let's just get one of the more depressing ones out of the way. Let's talk about Bernie. Bernie, her father is an asshole. Literally tie your Dewey chair so she would be a a good wife. It's it's really depressing. She has a lot of self esteem her issues. Father, her father only saw her as a meal ticket, which is depressing as fuck. And because of that, she's terrified and will constantly think somebody is, is mad at her. Be and will ask, please don't, and will say, please don't kill me. Over and over and over and over. And Bernie. She's a, girl needs a hug. She really does. She really does. And like. To call. And to like a mother. Which, luckily, there are a lot of characters that work for her on that note. Seriously, if older Lilas actually ever ever found Bernie, she would adopt her immediately. So what? Anyway, uh, Bernie is a very sad girl, and I'm glad that after the time skip, she gets better. She gets her confidence, and it's it's nice. It's just nice seeing Bernie she, get she confident. Still has, she still has shut in, but I mean that's at not least she's a, gonna get rid at of. least at least she's a shut in. Cut in while still being active. She can still function, just she's always gonna be a shut in. Which is at least better also, than I'm being sorry. a shut in but and. Her, but her nickname is Bernie Bear at the time. It is adorable. It's the best. Also, as a, as a nice little payback, Father, yeah, if, if she ever marries into somebody who has money, she renounces her rifle as, as, as the barley. Suck on that asshole. Also, in also my head can is when Hubert uh, in Prison Bar, when he starts killing off people, Barley is the first cow. I really, I really do honestly ship that because I remember there's this one, there's there's this one piece of art that I always remember. Ember, and that's still my personal favorite. It's just the art where, art where both Hubert and Bernie are wearing, airing flower crowns. Next Hubert is un is Hubert is unsure how to feel, feel about it, but Bernie is it, happy well, as all hell. Ending, they actually wore flower crowns to show that they're happy. It's an actual thing. I know, it's adorable. Mm. In terms of in terms of gameplay. Bernie is an interesting unit. She, she should always be an archer because why would you want her to be in melee range? Don't do that to the girl. He only she put her in several upsides. Like her personal ability, if she's even taking one point of damage, she gets a damage boost, and her crest allows her to double attack randomly. More triple attack, more triple attack. I think it's triple attack. Or times the attack if she's using a brain. Though. Basically, she will always have a chance to, to do another another attack right after an attack. 
even if it's not shown on the battle forecast. The issue in Marine is... Um, you're, you're kind of taking a heads or tails guess on what she's going to end up like. Basically, if she doesn't get a strength in her first few levels, she will not work. Bernadette has a poorly low strength growth for a physical fighter. Magic is, is horrible, so you have to make a physical fighter. But if she gets a money, she can quickly become useless, which is depressing. Uh, but if you do take the time to train her, oh my god, she is probably one of the best Bernadette's in the whole fucking game. Yeah. The Bernie is a good character and she has a lot of things that make that make that can make her really broken. But if she has a bad start, she's not going to do well. She's not gonna get better. Ooh. She needs to have a good start to do well. And if she doesn't get at least three strength in, in her first five of ups, you should really bench her at that point, which is depressing. <laughs> Um, this is, of course, if you're doing a hard mode run or a classic run. In normal mode, okay, we should probably note none of this, none of the who you should and shouldn't use really matters in normal mode. Just use normal mode, anyone can work. Besides any. Cyril, because Cyril sucks. Don't use Cyril. Cyril, he is not. He is no. He is not the Donald. The reason, the Donald. Why, look, the reason why villagers love this when working is that. Okay, gross. An aptitude made a monster. Cyril, he needs an aptitude to actually work. And he also, doesn't. I'm sorry, but by the time you get him, you're going to be this little man. You're going to be better than him, and that's and that's not even talking about depending on the re And that's like the worst part is is like a lot of characters outshine him. I mean. Claude. Like, if you're on the Golden like, Deer, you have Claude. Like Claude. I said, he need aptitude to work, unlike other villagers who worked okay and aptitude made them broken. And here's the problem. <laughs> Doesn't he not have aptitude? <laughs> no. Aptitude is his personal ability. He needs that to even be viable. And even then, he's not viable. That doesn't even boost his stats properly. It's just iffy. It, no, it, it makes him go. If he didn't have aptitude, his stats would be the worst in the game. Aptitude makes his stats comparable to other people. A reminder: with aptitude, you only have a chance of getting a, of getting a, a bigger level. A chance. With aptitude, none of the stats one of the growth three percent. And I don't know anything about the kid because I've never fucking used him and I never will. He doesn't seem. Also, in... although he's dedicated to Raya, which is which, which is the downside of my book. He's also just <sighs> honestly just. I don't think I've ever... I don't think I have... I think I've ever had a character that just feels so boring. Like. Who are you again? <laughs> anyway, let's go on to some more more Name the other the other foreigner in the cast, Petra. Ah yes, Petra. Who Pe is probably the most well understood black eagle. Yeah. Because her only issue is she's a foreigner and thus she like it's notable. She she can read and write the language phone perfectly, but speaking is a different matter, which is truth in television because reading reading and writing languages is fairly easy, but speaking it ooh that's much harder. If you ever wonder why a lot of accents are kind of kind of kind of overly there when it comes to f when it comes to certain certain foreign people speaking a language. That's always going to happen, because when you have have that thick of an accent, saying something in English is going to be different. It's why Boston, also, it's why Boston people... It's also, it, also it's, it's, it's basically an inside joke to all Americans now, but English is not a good language. 
<laughs> our language sucks. Our language beat up up beat up other syllables and vowels, vowels, and that's how we got English. It's it, it, it basically an inside joke to every single American and and native English speaker that yeah, our language sucks. We're sorry that you have to be ha you have to listen. This. We're terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Would you like? We're terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Would you like? Ike payment in advance or in full? Yeah, um, yeah. So, Petra as a character is most well equals and because in the church she's an vampire, but she's a face girl overall in her gameplay. She can work sometimes. There's some issues with her I, working. I, 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 I haven't. I wouldn't. I would. I haven't actually used her before. Would you? Would you like like some info from a person that has used her? I mean, I kind of have. Well, still, it might help you. And it might help. If I have to give an idea, she's comparable to. Oh. Who think? What's the one I'm looking for here? Honestly, part of me wants to compare her to Gaius, but like less Gaius, but l it's it's kind of like Diet Gaius syndrome. Whereas Gaius was like a crit monster and could basically crit anything if you gave him half the chance and a candy bar. Are, are, Petra. Petra can land some crits, and she's got some good speed, speed and dexterity, which is basically skill. Hill in three houses. If you they just read. She just has some issues, issues that she goes through, which is what I call the, which is what I'm calling the, falling for three houses. The, houses. The I need help. Help syndrome. I mean, apparently, according to what I've read, Petra, her, it's inclined to be on the feet of the sad path, but you can actually, she's actually a wyvern writer and a more. Hell, hell, as a wyvern writer, she keeps her type of appearance. It's also notable that, it's also notable that, notable that, bit of a weird thing. Your thing, this is just mainly for Fire Emblem Heroes. Heroes, her version was, her version was a Pegasus Knight. That's, that's the kind of she's supposed to be. Yeah, it's... She has, she has an aptitude in flying for a reason. Yeah. But, you know, yeah, she's the only person in the game from the you can just be a water and water, so yeah. And the fact that I, I adore wyvern words and uh, water. Yeah, I like back here an assassin because, as I always like the assassins. Assassins. Th there's never been a time when the assassin class has ever just been not nice to me. No, I get you. I just have different different opinions. So, how about we go into the character that I'm pretty sure everyone knows about? Go on! And near death experience! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the train was too close for comfort, man! Too close! Murphy and Arnold, the only common of my heels, and they called her because she's worked, because, I mean, Dorothy is kind of a two-faced person, to me at least. On one hand, she's an incredibly motherly, kind person, but whenever nobles come in, come in contact with her, she's she's inwardly very very pissed off at them, but outwardly act very weak and uses her assets to her advantage because she doesn't want to end up back, back on the streets when, as an old hag. I, I'm courting her there, by the way. The only one, the only ones that she never acts this way to are particularly, particularly Edie, because you know, 
Well, she sees Edelgard as an actually good person. Hubert, and mainly, be Hubert, mainly because she's Edelgard. Mainly because as retainer. Yeah, and Bernie, of course. And then there's her. Because and there's her friendship with Ferdinand. Uh, like the like, and Bernadetta makes sense because she doesn't need a spouse; she needs a friend. Hell, she says that if ever that if Bernadetta's father ever tried to attack Dorothea, Dorothea would kick his ass, which I expect she to do because she does have a she does have a a, 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 a strength in swords. She's actually and yeah, and yeah, um. Dorothy is a good character, and I didn't marry her in my in my Black Eagles run. She's good, and she's, and her her thoughts are very true. Like, she doesn't want to end up dying on the streets alone and cold. It's a very real fear for people like her. Yeah, it's especially in in a, in, in, a, in a world like Fodlin, where the more money you have, the better your life is. Luckily, in every single route. Out, out. She at least can find a happy ending. Hell, even in her soul ending, she ends up just living out her life happily with the, with the opera company. Oh, yeah. By the way, she's an amazing singer. I listened to her voice actor doing it doing a song once. Oh my god! It's like the voice of it's like the voice of an angel. It's from. And in terms of gameplay, Dorothea, like I mentioned, she is like my second the second mage I will look at. But Dorothea has a few issues. Notably, her growths are fairly low, but it makes it in lore because she's not a fighter. She fully admits she's not good at fighting. She's a she's a she's a singer. She's not good at fighting, but she does have some pluses to her. She's one of the few. She is. She is an amazing mage if you train her right. She has really good stats, and she's one of the only characters that actually learns a siege a siege spell. And I'm pretty sure. And okay, the only characters that learn siege spells and are actually magic users are her, Hardamon, and Constance. And anyone else who, who can learn a siege spell is a physical fighter. Looking at you, Hilda. You know you love her. Oh, yes. He'll look more bolding. You know you love her. Yeah, but that don't really show bolting. Yeah, Dorothea is, has a very nice spell list. I mean, she and she has Agnes Arrow, she has, she has Meteor, which is amazing, she has Bulgarone, and hell, uh, if, she, if, you, if you train her up in, in her Faith Bane, which, which can become a, a strength, which is it specifically mentioned that her strength is not in the church, but in you. Because faith is basically how devout are you to the church? But for her, no, she's not devout to the church. She just is. She has that much faith in you. That is also why someone like say Claude and Petra have veins in faith because they because Claude is not devout. And Petra subscribes to different gods, the god Frigid. Yeah. But yeah, and like she learned psychic, which is always a plus. Dorothea is my, is not the best mage, but she is definitely a, a very good mage if you train her right. Which, as you may notice, that's the case for a lot of units. If you train them right and 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 keep and keep up with them, they'll be good. But if you don't, well, you may as well not use them at all. You're gonna you're gonna at least always run into an issue, but well. Besides one, but we'll get to her. However, in terms of uh, the last character in the Black Eagles, it is still good if you get him late. Ferdinand von Eicher, the nobles of nobles, and the nicest dork in the entire game, <laughs> and probably the only noble who actually tries tries to be a good person to the commoners. So Ferdinand. He calls out the nobles and nobles. He tries to see himself as Edelgard's rival, which doesn't really happen in the time skip. And he is the hardest character to fucking recruit because he requires a high rank in heavy armor. Which the only reason you'd ever, you'd ever raise up by heavy armor is to get him. 
The only one who, yeah, the only one else who requires that is, if I'm correct, it's, heck, it's Raphael, but his is low nope. requirement. Brawling. Nope, his is brawling. I thought that was Caspar's. No, me, they both on. have brawling. I don't, I, I don't actually remember, but like, whatever the case, Raphael's much easier to get. What I'm saying is, but however, in terms of personality, Ferdinand is a, is a, is the nicest dork ever. He's kind, he tries to help people, although he, it's notable that he can be insensitive, can say stupid things, and he fully, and he fully accepts that, he fully accepts that and, take, and, take, and takes the blame for it. He doesn't try to avoid stuff, when he realizes, oh crud, I've screwed up, he immediately tries to fix it. Like, it's notable. With Marianne, when he says, when, when he asks if she doesn't like being a noble, and she rants about it, he immediately backtracks and apologizes. And the entirety of, of his and Dorothea's support is basically Dorothea thought that he was he was he was that his niceness was was a facade, but no, she just saw it in a different light because of how it was. Ferdinand was just was just very embarrassed by it, and when he and when he tried to find her again, she was gone. Ferdinand the dork. By the like dork. He's Ferdinand is a very a very good person. He's just well, el. Dense. Dense. dense is the dense is the word, and sometimes sometimes overbearing. But it's mainly just due to his overwhelming, oddly positivity. Like, like he beats himself up a lot for the stuff he stuff he does, but he tries his best as to improve himself. I, I'm honestly annoyed. Just because, like I said, he has the fucking group. But he is a he is he is probably one of the nicest people in the whole game. Like honestly, I need. I'm actually wondering about that because, like, I have to wonder. Uh, I'll I'll be right back. I need to check my mother. Go ahead. Also, I was right. It was heavy armor for Raphael. What? Though it is low. Welcome back. So, yeah. Now, let's go to Ferdinand as a unit. Well... This man. This absolute unit. This noblest of nobles is... Really, honestly, one of the best units in this game. Aim, I'm going to be frank with you. Holy shit, this man is a walking, walking destroyer. Which is weird to most if you most if you sort of how do I put this in the proper wording? Ferdinand Ferdinand seems like he's best as a cavalry unit, but this is where you are wrong. Huh. He's better as a sword master than anything else. A sword master, a warrior, warrior, any even a war master. Or master. The reason for this is Ferdinand. Ferdinand, despite I'd supposedly being forced to go down the Great Knight route, he doesn't need to. He can, he can fully succeed as anything else. Being a, a sword master, or master, master, a brigand, a warrior, a warrior. Hell, you can even make him a wyvern rider if you so please. Oh please! And hell, you can even make him a huge. <coughs> sorry, sorry. Heroes, heroes were immune to the game, and now they're just crap. Uh, 
Yeah, it's it's kind of depressing that Ferdinand is the only one that could technically work with Hero, but Hero is so bad that it just hurt him. Is so bad that not even the noblest of nobles can save him. Which is depressing because Hero was awesome in the games. I really hate. I really hate that. Hero is Hero, and Hero is sadly no more. It is gone on forever. Well, until the next game where it gets hopefully improved. Okay, here's something notable. The reason why Ferdinand can, can still work even if you get him late game, recruit him in chapter 12. He has 43 HP, 22 strength, 17 dexterity, 19 speed, 15 luck, and 17 defense with fire fires. That's really good. It's always good. It'll be a primer at this point. Which he kind of is concerning. He's a cavalier at the moment. He's also probably one of the best. He, in my opinion, he is probably one of the best units to give the evasion ring to. Because it's full HP. He gets the plus 15 moves and one hit. He's really good. With it. But, and even if even if he loses that bonus. Actually, be bulky. Believe me, he has been. See, I've heard by Liger. A good, a good dork, and a good unit. Absolutely. The noblest of nobles. And now to go on to the thing I've been waiting for for so long. Oh, yeah, it's Golden Deer time. <laughs> Yeah, but I think the stream is going on for far too long, I think. You <laughs> fucking... I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Oh, oh that was so worth it, though. Oh, that was so worth it. Do you like yourself some fruit? They're root. It's all marbles. It explains what the hell's been going on. It explains so much I want to go through it because to go over. And the only does Claude is a nosy little motherfucker. <laughs> Claude is odd as Claude. So speaking of Claude, let's talk about Claude. And also <laughs> voice. Not, and not him at all. Voice thing at the game. Well, I was gonna say. Uh, uh, sorry, audience. Uh, while they're gone, while they're gone, allow me to elaborate on the voice acting side of things for the other characters. 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 So. Oh, Hubert is voiced by Robbie Damon. Heyman. Most notable for his other voice appearances, but more popular for his voice acting as... As Goro Akechi, otherwise known as... Known as Pancake Bitch. Or... One of those words. It's... He is the pancake meme. The pancake boy. My mm, 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 mm. Okay. Oh, they posted. They posted a thing. They really did. And I'm gonna have to look at that. Uh, uh, if there was anyone else watching this, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll just wait for them. D what the? Uh, oh, right, that's me. That's just me. I'll just wait for him to come back. So, 
So, uh, yeah, also, uh, for other, other voices, Ada Guard is voiced by Tara Plot. There's a lot of voice voice roles for her, but some of my favorites include Zero from Dragon Guard 3. If you want to know what that's like, just... Just look up Dragon Guard Hard 3 funny moments. Uh, Hold on, audience. <laughs> it appears the technical difficulties lie even further beyond. So allow me to fix that. <laughs> Sorry, audience. Uh, if I sound hype, I'm, uh... I'm, if I start to sound strangely excited for some reason, uh... Well... A game I thought I'd never... A game I thought I'd never see back hack in existence is actually coming back. And that's... Amazing. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's so great! Ah! It's finally back! It's actually finally back! Scott Pilgrim vs. the World of the Game, yo! Yo! God, I sound like a fucking dork. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty fitting. I at least named it. Finally back, yo! It's great. It's good. It's great. I'm. I'll just, uh... I don't know. I really don't know. Looks like Doc's gone for the night. Time to sneak in some spider. Why are you not 
basic spatial mapping system. Hold on a sec, folks. Can you hear me? Ah, uh, great. It's a way to help users maintain their equilibrium while wearing the prosthetic. Dad's trying to lower the overall power consumption of the prosthetic. Wait! Wait! Yeah, wait. okay. There we go. There we go. You're the one that was dying. Okay. So, where was I? Uh, mostly the usual stuff. That's me. Okay, so voice acting on the YouTube go over yeah. But this voice actor has far too much fun with it. Yeah. I mean seriously in, in his life it would be, be supports like sorry, those <laughs> he loves them, but like he literally starts laughing in the middle of his line and I kept that. Voice everything. The voice of the support. They have the strict voice of the balance so much. It's amazing. Hmm. Yeah, Claude is just in general. Claude's the best. And why is there someone else watching my stream? Good grief. Hold on. Uh, I'm probably gonna stop it for a sec. Hold on. Hold on. 